And welcome to another edition of East L.A. Sports Scene as we come back to East L.A. College here, the E Arena, the E Dome, however the community is beginning to name it. It's very colorful because here is where it all happens for the sport of basketball. And we're talking about a doubleheader tonight, the women and the men from East L.A. College, the Huskies taking on in the women's game, Cyprus, and they will be the lady chargers that's coming up in just a moment here as you see both teams warming up and then at 7 30 it will be the men's turn to come on and play so it will be the east l.a college huskies and they are the number two seed here in the, the tournament and they'll be taking on the santa monica corsair so setting everything up again is head coach bruce turner from east l.a college bringing his squad in here with a 25 and 6 overall record and a very very good one in the southern our South Coast Conference play as well. And then on the other side for the Cyprus Lady Chargers, they come in with a 20 and nine record representing the Orange Empire, again, out of the 3C, 2A, or, or the California Community College Athletic Association. So we're all set to go. Teams are just about ready to finish their warmups. Uh, the buzzer will sound, and then we will get ready for the singing of the national anthem, and that's going to be done by a very special invited guest, a member of the men's football team. Her name is Antoinette Tony Harris, and you'll remember her, of course, from the Super Bowl 53 commercial that was run by Toyota. She will be doing, singing the national anthem for both games. So we invite you to stick around. It is time to get busy. The road to the Final Four starts right now for both of our local uh, supported here uh, schools, East teams, that is, East L.A. Community College, ELAC. So we'll be back with the festivities and then the opening tip-off in just a moment. This is East L.A. Sports Scene. Ms. Harris. Christian, number 32, Krista Evans. 
And at forward, a 511 South Wall of Parala Harbor of California, number 45, Hannah Avila MacArthur. And now the coaching staff for the ELAC Lady Huskies, the head coach, the living legend, Mr. Bruce Turner. And his staff, Sarah Trinidad, Will Knight, Leonard Owens. As the line of director, Mr. Tommy Dodinas. And now the starting five for the Lady Huskies. And forward, a freshman, six foot tall, a Lancaster, number two, C. Wallace. At point guard, a 5'6 south of Montana, Los Angeles, legacy, number 10, Jennifer Poole. And the two guard slot, a 5'6 south of our out of Boyle Heights, Garfield, number 12, Mercedes Ortiz. And the pride of Arizona, the shooting guard, out of Ganado, number 23, Jalen Curley. And that center forward standing 6'2 on a Lancaster high, number 31, James Watson. And in the crowd tonight, the Burns star, last year's star here, Monica Garcia. And here we go, we're ready for the tip off. Referee stepping in to get things underway. And we are now ready for the tip off. There it is, controlled by the black clad Cypress Lady Chargers, number 11 there with Priscilla Blanco. She's got the ball dribbling over there, picked up on defense. Around the screen, stops, pivots, gives it over here to number four. 11 on the dribble drive, finds her center in the lane, number 45, she's all alone and she scores. Number 45, first two points of the game, two nothing, 9.30 left in the first quarter. Four 10 minute quarters of play in junior college and NC2A women's play. Shot taken, no good. That was number 10, Poole, she missed, rebound. Lady Chargers, one encounter early in the season and uh, Lady Chargers took that one by a few points in the preseason. Oh, dribble drive, good. Just like that, four nothing, here come the Lady Huskies. Working it around, there's 31. Dribble drive, stops, jump shot taken, hits the side of the rim, caroms off to the right, number 32 gets it. That's Krista Evans, quickly into the front court. Three-point shot, taken from the right side, no good, rebound. Breaking down the rebound of Jada's Watson. Dribble drive, puts up the shot, misses. Last touched by Elak, says the referee. Three-man crew, this is integrated with two women. And we'll see the third official on the far side in the slot. We'll try to get those names for you. But anyway, 8.29 left, 4 nothing in favor of the black and gold Lady Chargers coming out of the Orange Empire Conference. 45's with it. Shot taken and a foul. Whistle on the play. Number 45, Hannah Avila MacArthur. She's 5'11". She's out of La Habra, but... She's been doing the work here very quickly for the Lady Chargers at the free throw line. It's number 32. That's Krista Evans. First one's good. Five nothing. So we have Evans, MacArthur, Blanco, Torres, and Fumoto. Second free throw is also good. Evans gets on the, in the book here with two free throws. Six nothing quickly into the front court. Here come the Lady Huskies trailing 6 0. Big, big second round game here. It's a home game. And there she's posted up. Ball gets batted away. That was Watson. She lost it. 31. Here comes number four. Oh, pass. Looked like a shot, but then a pass. Changed her mind. And quickly into the front court on a dribble drive. Puts it up and scores it. Jennifer Poole. 
Six to two, first quarter of play, 740 left. Wallace, Poole, Ortiz, Curley, and Watson for the Lady Huskies. Man to man here, play by the East LA College Huskies. Three point shot, no good, rims out. Watson rakes down another rebound. And here is number 10, that's Poole. Pass inside, flicked away. Good defense by the Lady Chargers. Pace is good so far. Right now it's Priscilla Blanco. MacArthur dumps it inside to Evans, puts it up off the backboard, no good. No, blocked in there nicely by Watson. She stuffs MacArthur. And here come the Lady Huskies coming back into the attack zone. Six to two, 6.50 left in the first quarter. Shot taken by Watson, no good, all alone from eight feet out. Lady Huskies driving themselves back to get on defense. Pace has been very good so far, not too many fouls. Evans stops, back door, oh, blocked. Watson, good defense, two on one. It results in a good advantage for the Lady Huskies. Dribble drive, and it's good. Curly in uh, the books here, six to four. Six minutes and 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Dribbling around is number 11. That's a Priscilla Blanco, left-handed dribble. Tries to go around the screen, stops, hesitates, now takes it up and misses. And there's Curly. She comes up with the loose ball on the rebound. She'll get credit for that on the stat. Jalen Curley has done a marvelous job this season for the Lady Huskies and for head coach Bruce Turner. And speaking a little bit about Curley. She's 5'6", comes out of Ganado, Arizona, from uh, the hometown of, or, no, the high school is Ganado as well. So here we are, attack zone, Lady Huskies in white, green trim. Green numbers. Curley gets it over to her wing partner here on the side. Baseline, shot taken, up and in by number 12, Ortiz. And we have a tie game now, five minutes and 28 seconds left in the first quarter of play. Rico Cabrera Sr. and Eric Sarney bringing you all the action here in East LA College. Blanco stops her dribble, gives it on a dribble drive to number four. And she gets it to drop in. Fuamatu. First name is Janae Ruby, and now it looks like there's gonna be a traveling call against the Lady Huskies, a turnover. Eight to six, clock stop on the violation. Five seconds on the referee's count to bring the ball into play from an out of bounds area to a live player inside the court. Blanco dribbling around, sends it over to the right side for a three point shot, and it's Evans. Oh, check it, 22. Tanya Carbajal, she gets into the books for three points. 11 to six, five point lead. Oh, Elak's missing, easy open shots from 10 to 15 feet out. And now the ball's gonna be ruled out of play by the sideline officials, gonna rule it in favor of the Lady Chargers. Four forty left in the first quarter. This is the three C two way Southern California Regional second round game. Oh, Pris Blanco puts it up. She had a player open, but she missed it on the drop step. Oh, nice pass underneath. It's good. And Wallace gets in the book here. Zamaris Wallace, 11 to eight. Last shot taken was number 30, Nicole Miller for Cypress. Blanco, point guard, dribbling. Miller sends it over here to the wing guard. Wing guard puts it up, no good. That was number 22 on the shot, Carvajal. And here we go now, Ortiz. Jump shot, misses. 
Ball's on the floor, Lady Huskies come up with it. It's a scramble. Back to Ortiz, Ortiz likes the shot, puts it up, no good, hits the back of the rim. Rebound fought for. And trying to get that rebound was number 24, Citali Davalos. And it's gonna be a, a kick ball or last touch by the referees will determine that it was last touch by the Lady Huskies. It's gonna be the Cypress ball. 11 to eight, 329 left in the first period of play. Here's the out of bounds play. And, and it comes to number 22, that was Carvajal. He's got a three pointer to her credit already. Now it's um, Altamirano, number 23 into the game. So the Lady Chargers bringing in new fresh bodies here. On the dribble drive, steps back. Too hard, no good. Last touch by number 21. That was Natalie Cruz. Let's make sure we get her name right. Yes, she's a forward, 5'9", out of Santa Ana. Okay, here we go. Walking it into the front court is number 10 for the Lady Huskies. Looking for the right combination here on the cross-court pass. Over to Poole. Out it comes for the three-point shot. Too hard. That was taken by number three. That was Gonzalez. 2.45 left in the first quarter. Three-point lead, Lady Chargers. Dribble drive, puts it up off the run. Good. Fuamatu gets credit for that. Oh, in and out to Fuamatu with four points. 13 to eight, five point lead, 227 left in the quarter. Lady Huskies in a man to man. Pull up on her player that she's guarding. Oh, ball's got stolen away. Nice hands in there on defense. It's a four on two. Lady Huskies in the middle. Oh, good fake, good drive, and there's contact. It's gonna go. Pool urges it to drop, and it goes in. Chance for the traditional three-point play. One shot for Jennifer Pool. They're gonna have to give credit on the shot, and this will bring the score now 13 to 10. Poole having herself also a very, very good year. Coming in right now at this point after 31 games, averaging 9.5 points a game. And oh, in and out, balls batted around by Watson. Oh, then from behind. As you saw MacArthur reach her hands in there, cleanly claim part of the ball. And that was enough to warrant uh, a jump ball. So the alternating arrow favors the Lady Huskies. And here it is in the corner. Shot off the backboard underneath was good. And Gonzalez, Adriana. Sis now coming for the Lady Huskies. They're starting to add up. Number 24 on defense, reaching in, uh, trying to slow down Blanco. She's going to stop before the three-point line. Misses. Rebound. 13 to 12. Here come the Lady Huskies quickly. Into the front court. Watson over comes for a three-point shot. No good. That was taken again. Jo jo Jaylene Curley. Fu Fuomatu, number four on the dribble, throws it down low for her post player. That was Avila MacArthur, number 45. One minute and 12 seconds, one-point lead here for Cypress, 13 to 12. Oh, nearly a five second call there on the inbound pass. And there's Priscilla Blanco. Priscilla's, you see her holding up her fingers for the number of the play. Oh, Avila MacArthur stops him 15 feet out and hits it off the backboard, good. Six points in the game for MacArthur. Hyphenated name with Avila in front of MacArthur, 45 seconds left. Three point lead, 15 to 12. Davalos with the ball, number 24, dumps it into Watson. 
Shot taken, straight ahead. Number three, that was Gonzalez. Adriana, she misses. 30 second shot clock in play for the ladies and eight point difference in the game clock to the shot clock. There's Blanco going right. Tries to find, oh, there was two. Miller, Miller lost it. Good backside defense on the help side. Gonzalez finds Watson. Watson inside, brings it out here for the three point shot, no good. Lady Huskies. Fighting for it, come out with it. Watson brings it back out to her guard. Lady Husky still trying to maintain possession, but that should end the first quarter of play. So plenty of scoring opportunities for both teams. And we're having ourselves a very, very fast and furious up-tempo game here uh, in the first quarter of play. And as the score on the board will read, it's Cypress 15, ELAC, East L.A. College 12. We'll be back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. This is East L.A. Sports Scene Productions. Okay, we're coming back now. The alternating um, possession arrow favors the Lady Chargers. You see right there with the black uniforms and gold numbers. Point guard now with the number 11, Priscilla Blanco. That's a good matchup right there. You see 24 guarding here, Citlali Davalos. Cutting. Oh, Oh, block from behind. The beautiful block there. Three on two. Oh, throws in the way. It was Davalos trying to save it. Over it comes to Avila MacArthur. Evans. And now a travel. Travel call there by the trail official. 9.33 left. Again, first quarter to play in the books. And... Lady Huskies with the ball. Number three is Gonzalez Adriana. Trying to dump it in there. 34 is in Godbolt for the Lady Huskies. She's got it. Dominique Godbolt, 34. Shot clock winding down. Cross court pass it comes. Shot is taken. Oh, it looked good, but missed on the shot. And that was Gonzalez. It turns into Blanco for layup. Nobody back to stop Blanco. She went all the way from three quarter court. Five point lead, 17 to 12, eight minutes and 55 seconds left in the half. Gonzalez knocked out of bounds by hustling Avila MacArthur. First name Hannah, number 45. Substitution. Coach Turner bringing number 23, Leland Curley, back into the ball game. And Curley comes in, averaging nearly 14 points a game, 13.9. They're going to need her offensive experience here. There she is with the ball, number 23. Dumps it in here. Goes to Watson, spins, pivots, puts it up, misses, fights for the rebound, gets it, puts it in up the backboard. Oh, Jadis Watson, first points of the game. Unofficially here from our perspective. Everything that's official is across the way there at the table. We want to give a big shout out to our good friend Dan Godinez, also doing a a play by play of the game for a live stream entity. And Dan is well known here throughout East LA College for his coverage of the East LA College football team and of course the basketball team. So hats off and a salute to Dan. Good friend in broadcasting. Here we go. Avila dumps it in. Backboard. Good by Evans. Four points in the game. One field goal and two free throws. Five point lead again. 19 to 14. Godbolt gives it over here to Davalos. 24 underneath. Oh, did not find the square correctly. Ball's brought out for three point shot. No good. That was taken by Curley. Dav uh, oh, Blanco, crossover dribble, finds her teammate on the wing. Oh, and then Evans throws it out of bounds. So now the dreaded turnover bug starting to show presence here for both teams. And again, Godbolt in the ball game. Dominique, she's number 34. She's a freshman. And there's number 24, Sitlali Davalos. On the wing, it goes to number 12, Mercedes Ortiz. Ortiz 
Oh, she comes up and under underneath for a basket. And that cuts the lead to three, 19 to 16, seven minutes and 22 seconds left in the half. Second round of the Southern California Regional Tournament here for the 3C2A. In the lane she goes, shot taken, no good. That was Godbolt with the rebound. No, check that, Evans. Oh, shot taken by the Huskies, they get their own rebounds. Dribble drive, stops, there's Godbolt. Puts it on the floor, puts it up and in. That last rebound, we correct ourselves, that was given to Watson. But there is Godbolt getting into the books. That cuts the lead to one, 19-18. Lady Huskies very, very determined on defense. Davalos, number 24, picking up on Blanco. That's a good matchup. Watson on Evans, underneath. Avila to MacArthur. And there is Priscilla Blanco penetrating. Fifth point of the game. 21-18 in favor of the Lady Chargers from Cypress College. Godbolt turns around. Finds a player on the wing, puts it, oh, it's an air ball. Missed everything, that was Ortiz. She had a good look, but didn't draw iron. Out it comes, three point shot, good. And that was Teresa Torres, huge three point shot. Five point lead, 23-18. Lady Huskies getting close, but they cannot get over the hump cannot get in front of their opponent at this point in the game. Cross court pass. Shot taken by Davalo. Air ball. Will it be saved? Watson, yes. And then a 10 footer. It's good from the left elbow. Curly comes up with a good put back and a jump shot. Good. Three point lead for the Lady Chargers 23 20. Blanco. Oh, no good. That was Furimatu. Godbolt. She's in transition, stops. Oh, now she lost it at the end of her dribble. And then after dribbling it again, referee calls a double dribble. Five minutes and 11 seconds left. Both teams making substitutions. Jennifer Poole comes back in. And she takes Ortiz out for a rest. So here we have Curly, 23. Watson, number 31. Number three, Gonzalez. And number 34, Godbolt. And the fifth player that we see out there is number 10, Jennifer Poole. Those are the players in the game right now for the Lady Huskies. Man to man, double low post to medium post there for the Chargers. Out it comes to Miller. Miller sends it over here, back up on top to Blanco, number 11, Priscilla's her first name, deep into the key, and there's Torres again, looking for that three-point shot, ball batted around, last touch by the Lady Chargers, kept in play by the Huskies, three-point shot, take it, no, back, hits the back of the, the board here with the, with the glass, did not draw iron, Godbolt, she likes it, from the wing, it's no good, long rebound, it came out to number three. And here it comes back to Blanco. Number three, Sarah Weber for the Lady Chargers. Blanco puts up a jump shot right from the middle of the key. Mil Miller on the rebound, gets it to drop. Nicole Miller. Godbolt, she comes back the other way, gets the shot, gets the rebound, misses. On the putback, 25 20, 350 left in the first half. Both teams getting up plenty of shots. And there is number 11, Blanco. Miller off the backboard, rebound. Chargers come out of the pack with it. 335, the clock resets. Cruz, number 21 in the game. Oh, dribble drive for Blanco. And she's got her seventh point of the game with a seven point lead, 27-20. Three minutes and 15 seconds left. Poole with the ball. 
Sends it over here to number three on a dribble drive. Puts it up, and she's going to be fouled. Adriana Gonzalez, she'll go to the line. Let's see if they rule it. Yes, yeah, she's in the act of shooting. Natalie Cruz draws the foul. And there's going to be a timeout taken here. Let's see, do, do we believe that that was Coach Turner who wants to take a little extra time here and recoup and recharge his players? Yes, it was charged to, officially charged to the Lady Huskies. We'll be back with the free throws in just a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, Gonzalez, let's take a look at some of her stats. She comes into the contest averaging 3.3 points per game. And her free throw percentage, first one's no good. Okay, shooting 40% from the line. Here comes her second now. Looking to cut the lead to six. Second one is perfect. It's a swish. So Gonzalez now with uh, three points. And ball is going to be ruled out of bounds. And with 3.08 left, it's going to be the Lady Huskies on defense. They're going to put a full court press on. So taking the ball out of bounds is a uh, well, it was number one, uh, Teresa Torres. She's four feet 11, but has a range from three-point land. Uh, she's proved that with three points given to her on one of her shots taken this quarter. Okay, closely guarded on the inbounds pass. Here comes uh, Avila MacArthur. Oh, ball gets skidded off of the foot of the Chargers. Quickly, Furumatu. Ball, she tried to pass it underneath. Looking for her teammate who was uncovered, number 33, but here it comes back to the Lady Huskies. Oh, and Curly, three-point shot, no good. And it's going to be over the back, reaching in foul against Lady Chargers, very emphatically ruled by the referee. Stay here. And there is the foul that's reported. And... 22 comes back into the game. Tanya Carbajal. Lady Huskies, oh. Avila MacArthur stretched out a big right hand. And she's 5'11", sophomore. Avila MacArthur on defense, back to the ball. Here comes back to Curley. Oh, almost lost in the backcourt. Recovered by Ortiz. Mercedes, her first name. Curly, Jalen, first name. Telling Ortiz to come down to the wing. Inside it goes to Godbolt. Across the court it goes. Gonzalez for three. No good. Rebound. Up high. Oh, over the back. As Ortiz muscled her way in for the rebound. And had good position, rightly so. And then the contact came from the defender. So that's going to be only the fifth team foul of the half. On the seventh, it'll be a one and one situation. Curly gets the ball in. Here comes the Lady Huskies back to Curly. Over to Gonzalez. Cross court, it goes to Godbolt. Dribble drive. Stops. Up on top, it goes. Curly lets it go from three point land, and that is good. Seven points in the game unofficially for Jalen Curly. Three point lead, 27 24. Backcourt pressure applied by the Lady Huskies. Inside of the two minute mark in a turnover. Here come the Lady Huskies, Curly. Over it comes, underneath. Pass is made and then stripped away. Oh, last touch by Elak. So 
says the referee. And quickly it was into the front court. Ortiz just threw a bullet pass down low, but a teammate was not ready for the pass. And then in the scramble, the ball was touched by the Lady Huskies. And with 147 left, it's 27-24 in favor of Cypress. Cypress in front of their own bench. It comes to Avila MacArthur. Stops a dribble. Oh, Blanco puts it up in middle of the key. Rebound pulled down by number three, Gonzalez. Gonzalez calls for Curly to come back. Curly, the point guard, quickly gets it into the front court. Ortiz lets it go from three. Too hard, hits the side of the basket where the, the square is and caroms off into the arms of the hands of the defender for a rebound. There's Fuyamatu. Cross court, it comes to Torres again inside to Evans, puts it up and in on the big drop step. Krista Evans, six points unofficially. Dominique Godbolt, and she gives it to her teammate coming in, Ortiz. Ortiz, and blocked nicely. Oh, check that, number three, Gonzalez. She got tied up there by Evans, had her both hands on the ball, and the possession arrow will favor the Lady Huskies. 54.9 seconds left. Curly underneath the basket. Up on top it goes to Godbolt. Back to Curly. Underneath on the wing for the three point shot. Good. And that is uh, Gonzalez for her sixth point of the game. Two point lead, 40 seconds left. Davalos on Blanco. Out it goes to Torres. Torres now brings it to Blanco. Blanco picked up by Davalos. Good defense there. Making uh, Blanco work. And from the three-point land. Fui Matu, three-point line. Good. Here we go the other way. That ball is going to be ruled. Last touch by the Chargers. So Jane Ruby Fuamatu. Point guard out of Carson, 5'3", freshman. Hometown, Carson, California. Inbound it comes with 14 seconds left. Godbolt looking inside to Watson. Watson, a dribble, turn around. There's another three-point shot. Oh, in and out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and then a tremendous contact from behind as Dominique Godbolt gathered the rebound. And then on the blind side as she got the rebound, her momentum momentum in her favor she went to put it up to put it up and in but she was really hammered from behind and that will bring her after play resumes let's see where there's a timeout called referees uh, allowing both teams to wander around the court the lady huskies in front of their coach bruce turner you can take a good look at what he's trying to instill in his players as they're facing a 32 to 27 deficit. Oh, let's see, they have cleared out all the players and therefore an excessive foul there, ruling a technical foul here, two shots for Godbolt. And she misses the first. So the severity of the foul is technical foul, and Godbolt does not cash in. Ball will be awarded out of bounds with 3.9 seconds. Well, we're glad that uh, Dominique Godbolt is uh, okay, and she's able to continue on here. Big part of the front line, her and Watson, Jadis Watson, number 31, but into the game, Wallace now. And Davalos fires. No good at the buzzer. And that will end the first half of play with the score on the floor. The Cypress Lady Chargers 32. The East LA College Lady Huskies 27. There will be an intermission here at halftime from the E Arena, the E Dome here on the campus of East LA College. And uh, while they do that, we will step away. 
and try to gather up all of the, the statistics for you and, and bring them to you once we start the second half of play. So this is East L.A. Sports Scene's coverage of the East L.A. Lady Huskies women's basketball team. Don't go away. We'll be back. Okay, we're just ready to go back into action here. Let's give me the quick rundown of scoring totals for Cyprus. Teresa Torres with three. Janae Furumatu, seven. Priscilla Blanco with seven. And they're going to stop the proceedings here for a second. As we're just underway, five seconds has been run off the clock. We're trying to give you scoring totals of the first half. And so here we go now, back to action. There you see the action now as we start the second half. With a five point lead, there we see the Lady Chargers from Cypress College. Dribble drive stops. There, there's Avila MacArthur, she blocked from behind. And then Ortiz, oh, it almost goes over for um, a violation, but she controlled it, corralled it back down, and she gives it to Poole, number 10. Ortiz, number 12 with the ball. Inside it goes to the cutter from the post player. Shot taken, good! Poole. And that gets the Lady Huskies off to a running start. Six points unofficially now for Poole. Here we go now, oh, stolen! Nicely, we go the other way. Number two, that's Wallace. Oh, she's going to be called for double dribble. Zamaris Wallace, 5'11", coming out to us from Lancaster High School. She's a forward. She's in the starting lineup to start the second half of play for head coach Bruce Turner. Lady Huskies down by three with plenty of time here in the game. Just underway for the third quarter in the second half. Avila MacArthur with the hyphenated name, first name Hannah. Around the screen is going to be an illegal pick set by Avila MacArthur. Was, did not give the defender enough time to go, go around. And here comes Poole quickly, looking to get the ball into the front court. And the wing it goes. Wallace up on top, cross court it comes. Oh. Watson picks it up in the key. And off the backboard, no good. Watson fights the rebound, misses it. Well, here we come now. Poole. Oh, the ball taken away from Puma too. Poole stops, passes. Back to Curley. Curley on a dribble drive. Gives it over to Poole. Back it goes to Wallace. Oh, Wallace throws to Watson. She's not there. It's a turnover. We go the other way, three on three. Torres from the right side for a three-point shot, no good. Wallace grips it, gives it to Poole. Jennifer Poole is her name, full name. And Poole comes to us from Legacy High School. A yeah, native of Los Angeles, California. Cross court it comes. Ortiz brings it over here to Wallace. Back to Ortiz, it's poked away. Stolen, Lady Huskies telegraphing the passes. Ortiz on defense. Oh, and throwing it up with the left hand is Blanco having herself an outstanding game. Nine points in the game thus far. There's Ortiz in the wing. Watson, jump stops. Pressure there. Ball came back outside. Ortiz. Now it's going to be a jump ball. Arrow is going to favor the Lady Huskies. Pace continues to be very hectic for both teams. No problems and no issues finding a, a spot to take a shot from. It's just a lot of, in, uh, as you would say, irregularities in some of the passing. Curly over in the wing it goes. Pool up on top. Davalos, Davalos, dribble drive down the lane. Comes out to Ortiz, dribble drive off the backboard, no good. Fought for, rebound, Avila MacArthur gets it. Uh-oh, Blanco going into the space for dribble drive and good. 
Priscilla Blanco, four quick points, seven point lead again, 36-29. Ball's held by Davalos over to Jadis Watson. Davalos puts up a three-point shot. No good. It was short. Quickly on the fast break. Pushing. Behind the back dribble. There was, oh. Fumatu takes a 10-foot jumper. Good. 38-29. Nine points in the game for Fumatu. Here comes Poole. Spot up, looking for the three-point shot was Ortiz. Ortiz has it, brings it back out for Poole. Lady Huskies, clock winding down. And ball's gonna be, oh, thrown out of bounds. Good hustle play there by Davalos. And Davalos, Citlali, 5'6", comes out of Maywood, California, and Legacy High School. So Mercedes Ortiz and Jade just Watson take a breather on the bench. End of the game. Number 34, Dominique Godbolt. Blanco puts it up, blocked by Godbolt. Avila Ortiz controlled the rebound, puts it up off the backboard. Oh, look out. And there's a collision underneath. And they're going to rule the number 32. Krista, Ed, yeah, Krista Evans ruled on the foul there underneath the basket. Nine-point lead here for the Lady Chargers. Five minutes and 27 seconds left. Lady Husky is going to need to play some very, very turnover-free basketball here for the stretch. They're going to need to make the shots and get back on defense. Davalos again. Godbolt. Pull. Poole takes a look. Three-point shot straight away. No good. Shot was taken by Gonzalez into the front court. There is Blanco. Blanco pressured. Double team and now timeout. Taken by the coach of Cyprus. She wants to talk things over, trying to protect her lead here with 4.59 left in the third quarter. So, thus far, it's been... A six-point run here by the Cypress Lady Chargers over the East L.A. College Lady Huskies. They've only put up two points in the quarter thus far. And that puts the score right now 38-29. 38-29 in favor of the Lady Chargers of Cypress College. So... Okay, coming uh, back onto the court now. Both teams uh, have heard the coach's instructions during the timeout. And here we are now, inbound, right in front of the bench of Torres. Teresa, her first name, throws it into Avila MacArthur. She runs it down. And then Gonzalez, Adriana, lets it roll out of bounds. Turnover against Cyprus. Pool. Davalos looking inside. Godbolt. Back to Davalos. It comes on a dribble drive. Looking inside. Back to Godbolt up on top. Gonzalez had it. Pool up with the left hand. It's good on a dribble drive. Eight points now for Pool. Davalos applying full court pressure on Blanco. It's a good matchup. One on one. 425 left, 38-31, favor of, of Cypress. Oh, block. Godbolt elevated and blocked the shot on the reverse. And up it goes to Curley. Misses. Had a good angle. Just didn't get it high enough. There is Torres. Fuamatu. And there is Miller. Gets her own rebound. Puts it up off the backboard. Good. Nicole Miller with her four point, fourth point of the game. Godbolt. And there's going to be a foul from behind. And the referee in the slot picked up the foul. And that should send Dominique Godbolt to the free throw line. Nine point lead, 40 to 31. Again, a reminder, this is a second round 
regional playoff. The winner, of course, advances. The loser will call it a season. And there's Dominique Godbo looking for a free throw. It's a miss. That's her third miss in a row. Cruz and Carvajal come in for Cyprus. Godbo looking for her second free throw now. Talia Jones, number 21, gets inserted into the game. Also from Lancaster, California. She's a 5'5 freshman. Godbolt looking to make her second. And short. So she's missed all four free throws. Two points in the game for her. 3.45 left. Curly on Blanco. Blanco's been the big, big difference here for Cypress. Oh, Godbolt. And there's a quick reach in. She got the ball, and that results in a hell ball. Alternating possession, 40 to 31, 336 left in the third quarter. Cypress ball. It's going to be put in play in front of their own bench. It's going to be number 22. That's Carabajal. Trying to get it in, finds Torres. Torres in a 411, one of the shortest players on the team and on the court. Shot clock running down. Torres brings it back out, loses it. And then they're going to call it reaching in foul. As the shot clock was winding down, Torres had no place to go. But they're going to whistle the East LA College Lady Huskies on a team foul reaching in. Four team fouls even for both teams. And Torres has a new shot clock. And she's picked up by Jones. 21 taking the guarding number one. Inside it goes to Miller. Torres. Oh, Miller got loose. And finds the backboard for the putback on the rebound. So Miller has come in giving the Lady Chargers a big lift. Three-point shot. No good. Last touch by Cypress. Torres. First name, Teresa. 255 left. Miller puts it up, no whistle, ball's fought for, and there is 11, that's Blanco, finds Miller again, Miller, she's a force underneath, six quick points for Nicole Miller, down we go the other way, shot put up, no good, Adriana Gonzalez from three feet out, she misses, 13 point lead here for the Lady Huskies. It's getting to be nervous time for the squad here and the coaching staff for East LA College. Jones, oh, reach blocking foul by Godbolt. 15 foul, ball's gonna be awarded out of bounds on the common foul. Coming back in is Watson, number 31. And Davalos comes in for Jones. So it's been all a question of finding the open player for the Cypress Chargers and they're finding Nicole Miller underneath. So the post play here proving to be paying big dividends for the Chargers, Lady Chargers. Blanco throwing her into the mix. Handling all the chores at point guard. Carvajal lets it go. No good. Uh, here comes Jennifer Poole quickly. Oh, she let the ball get away from her on the dribble. Turns it over. 140 left in the third quarter. Time running down. 134 left. Poole goes for the steal. Nobody there to help her. Blanco gets it back. Shot clock winding down to 10 seconds. Ball comes out to, to Carbajal. Carbajal dumps it down to Miller. Carbajal had a three-pointer look. No good. Shot taken. Davalos rebound. Here we go. Jalen Curley stops. Pull. Shot taken from the corner. No good. Rebound. Gonzalez puts it up. She's going to be fouled. 
She'll go to this line to shoot a pair of free throws and trying to lower the margin while the clock is stopped is the opportunity that's presented now to Gonzalez. Three points thus far in the game, all coming in the first half. Gonzalez spinning the ball, looking for rhythm. Puts it up, and it's going to be short. Free throws been a, have been a big issue tonight. Fifty-nine seconds left in the quarter. There's Gonzalez, puts it up, makes the second. Quickly now, full court pressure applied by the Lady Huskies. There's Fu Matu with the ball, dribbling, calling a play with her left hand, putting one or two fingers up, around a pick she goes, and attacking the hoop. It's blocked from behind. Here come the Lady Huskies. Cross court it comes to Gonzalez. She's going to put it up, short. Didn't have a good angle on it. There's Davalos. Full Matu. Oh, behind the back dribble. She loses Davalos in the backcourt. Puts up a 15-footer. Good. <laughs> Janae Ruby Matu Matu. 14-point lead with 15 seconds left in the third quarter. 46-32. Lady Huskies trailing by 14. Pulled. Dribble drives, she loses it off her foot. Ball's gonna be awarded to Cyprus with three seconds left. Here comes, it. oh, stolen or knocked out of bounds by Watson. So three seconds left on the board. And here comes the play now. Avila MacArthur holding it up. Oh, Mc oh, Curly lets it go. Three-pointer, no good. It was an poorly in thrown inbound pass, but Jalen Curly misses. Oh, that would have been a big boost there for the Lady Huskies. And uh, they will close out the quarter with a total of only having scored five points. And uh, that gives them 32. They had 27 at halftime. So we're going to start the fourth and final quarter in just a moment. When we return, this is East LA Sports News coverage of the East LA College Lady Huskies women's basketball team. Okay, the buzzer, the buzzer sounded, and both teams report back to the floor. And here it is, 10 minutes. Lady Huskies trying to overcome a 14-point deficit here, and they're going to need to score just about every time they have possession. Davalos starts things off, dumps it down inside. Davalos looks over here to Watson. Watson from 15 feet out has a good look at it, and she drops it through. With a big, big shot there for Watson. Only her fourth point of the game. Full court pressure, here comes Torres. Torres is gonna get picked up. Oh, ball got knocked out of her hand. Shot taken, no good. Bad away from behind. But that was Gonzalez along with Watson. Inside it goes to Gonzalez, off the backboard, good. Adriana Gonzalez. So 10 point lead, four quick points here by the Lady Huskies, applying more pressure. Pulls, guarding, Blanco. Blanco signaling for the teammates to get in position. Avila, MacArthur, inside it goes. Oh, charging. As you saw, him, number 45 back her way in, and that was Hannah Avila MacArthur. And taking the charge was a defender. Looks like that was Gonzalez in position, two feet placed down, and then absorbing the contact. Pull, Jennifer, here she comes, gonna walk it into the front court. We have Poole, we have Watson, Davalos, 
Curley, number 23, and Gonzalez in there for the Lady Huskies. This is do or die time here for the Huskies. Watson looks for Gonzalez, puts it in off the backboard, good. Adriana Gonzalez, four quick points here to open the fourth quarter, pull. Davalos trying to keep her in check. Full Matu. Ball is going to be stolen from behind. And last touch by Cypress. And now Cypress, the Lady Chargers, uh, after a 6 nothing run by the Lady Huskies, are going to call a timeout. And we'll be back. As a matter of fact, we're going to stay with the teams. We're going to let Eric Sarney get some good tight shots of both teams as you'll see the coaches drawing up the strategies that they want them to perform here in the most critical part of the game. Uh, we're taking a look there as he pans in on head coach Bruce Turner imploring his team to stay, stay put, stay tight, stay on defense and keep the pressure on and then come back and score. Another three more baskets and this game could very well be tied up. Or nearly tied, so they trail by eight with an opportunity to score again here on this third possession. And here it comes, Gonzalez over to Poole. She trots up into the front court. Starts off on the way to Davalos. Davalos with the eyeglasses or the protective goggle wear. Curly looked at it. Back it goes to Poole, dribble drive. Inside it goes, oh, and Watson. And she's gonna be called to shoot two free throws as Jadis Watson just taking those shots a fraction of a second too quick. And here she comes now for a pair of free throws, huge. Jadis Watson can cut the lead to six points with two free throws. First one's up, good. So momentum now changing for the Lady Huskies as they come out with a 7-0 run and getting themselves back into contention here. 46-39, plenty of time left with 7.54 left in the game. Watson second free throw, no good. Seven point lead, oh here's Torres all alone. She goes to the layup and makes it. Teresa Torres. That ends a seven nothing run by the Huskies. Pool. Davalos, dribble drive. Over here comes the pool. Back to Davalos. Oh, looking for Curly who was supposed to be on the wing. And she saw the referee and threw it there. 7.32 left, nine point lead again. Pool Matua, number four. Oh. Teresa Torres, guarded by Davalos, gets it across the timeline. Torres, Avila MacArthur, guarded by Gonzalez. Fuo Matu has it, sets it up, says she wants to run to play number one. Miller, jump shot from the free throw line, no good. Davalos with the rebound. Quickly, Davalos over to Poole. Curly, three-pointer, no good. Rebound to Davalos. A new try there, new shot clock. 6.45 left, ball dumped into Watson. Watson on Miller. And to Gonzalez, dribble drive, comes back out. Oh, and Blanco read the pass. It was telegraphed and, oh, Priscilla Blanco, then she loses it off of her foot. Oh, what a give back there by Oh, now we see Blanco hobbling. Oh, and she looked, she went over to talk to her coach, asking for a substitution. Now she'll come out. There you see her, she's gonna take herself out of the game. Carvajal comes back in. Tanya Carvajal. Curly, looking to get warm. She's has some points for the Lady Huskies, but they need more from her. Cross court, it comes to Davalos. Up on top to Gonzalez. Gonzalez on dribble drive. Watson stuck in the key. Curly, three-point shot, good. 
Jalen Curley delivers the message. And ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Huskies. Six-point lead now with 6.05 left in the game. Full court pressure. Fuo Matu picked up way in the backcourt. Carvajal gets it across and breaks the press. 5.58 left. Carvajal. And it goes to Miller. Miller puts it up and in. Off the backboard for 10th point. Nicole Miller doing excellent work for the Lady Chargers. 50 to 42, eight point lead for the Lady Huskies. Curley trying to look for that three point shot. And it goes, Watson goes up off the backboard, no good. Ball knocked out of bounds, last touch by Jennifer Poole. Substitutions coming back in. Okay, Blanco comes back in for Carvajal. And Godbolt is going to give Jadis Wilson a blow here. Shot clock reset to 28, says the official. Eight point lead, 50 to 42, full court pressure. Gonzalez. Here comes Jenny Fuomatu dribbling in front of her bench. One of the point guards here for the Cypress Lady Chargers. Stops. Torres. Oh, oh it's going to be a jump ball, but that was easy shot there. And just rushed it too quickly. It was number 45, Avila MacArthur. From our vantage point, it was a clear shot. Miller uh, looking, to, oh, Avila MacArthur puts it up, no good. Uh, here comes Poole, but a foul's gonna be whistled. Against Cypress in the back court. That's the third foul, the 13th foul of the quarter. Okay, Cruz comes in for Cypress. Five minutes even left in the game, and here we go. Jennifer Poole looking to reignite the offense again. Sends it across court. Here comes to Gonzalez. Inside it goes to Godbolt. Godbolt, guarded by Miller. Gonzalez spots up for a three-pointer. No good. Rebound fought for. Godbolt gets it. Dominique's her first name. Oh, last touch by Gonzalez. Turnover. Both teams up near the 15 mark in turnovers for the whole game. Full court man-to-man -man pressure on the inbound pass. Oh, left alone was Cruz, number 21. Gets it over here to Fuo Matu. Guarded by Davalos behind the back dribble. Gets some space. 1-4 now in terms of the offensive formation. It's just one-on-one -on -one with Davalos and Fuomatu. Shot clock winding down. That's what they're trying to use. A lot of shot clock. No closely guarded here. Fuomatu stops. Tries to dump it into Miller. Red there by Godbolt. Here we go the other way. Lady Huskies. Curly had it. Davalos, three-pointer, no good. Rebound there by... Shot taken by Gonzalez. She misses everything. There's Cruz. Ball's taken away. There's Godbolt. Back out to Curley. Three-point shot. Good. Jalen Curley finding the range. And there's going to be a timeout taken as the lead's now cut to five, 50 to 45. And results now coming to fruition for the Lady Huskies as the full court man-to-man -man Press is taking its toll here. So we'll be back after both teams now. We'll take time out to discuss their strategies. This is East LA Sports Team's coverage of the East LA Women's College second round playoff game against the Lady Chargers from Cypress College. Okay, we're coming back to Whistle Sounds. Both teams report back for the 
Ball to be taken out of bounds in the deep back court of the Cypress Lady Chargers. That's full Matu with it. Full court pressure again now. Full Matu Torres gets it into the front court. Lady Chargers are going to try and set things up and use up a lot of the shot clock. Hunt over here. Back to full Matu. Lady Huskies got to really buckle down on defense. Have to play a swarming type of... Oh, ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. But there's a foul called on the play. Looks like it's going to go against uh, Dominique Godbolt. That's going to be the first team foul against Elac. Oh, ball's thrown deep near half court. Gonzalez on Avila MacArthur. Stops. Blanco back in the game. Looks like she's regained her composure. Guarded by Davalos with the white eye goggles. Coming up on the three-minute mark. Five-point lead, 50 to 45. Shot clock moving now. Blanco left alone as she goes up. No good. Shot taken. Because coming down with the rebound, give her all the credit in the world. Number 32. And she will. Krista Evans. Check that. Evans, 32. Shooting twos. Evans. She's going to miss. She's one of the starters here for the Lady Chargers. Only four points in the quarter thus far for Cypress. And meanwhile, the Lady Huskies have made their move. However, they're going to need to get the rebound. She misses both. 250 left. Jennifer Poole looking to set the Lady Huskies offense off, up here. There's Curly. Hit a couple of three-pointers. Comes up on top to Gonzalez. Down low goes to Godbolt. There's Curly. Sets up for a three-point shot. No good. Gonzalez gets the rebound. Puts it up from five feet out. No good. Rebound. Huskies. Davalos sends it for three. Good. Sitlali Davalos sets a three-pointer. Two-point lead. 50-48. 2.18 left. First points of the game for Davalos. She's been working hard on defense, but comes up big on offense. Two minutes and eight seconds left. Two-point lead. 50-48. Davalos back to work on Blanco. Uh, oh, Mavila MacArthur cleared out her opponent, but then put it in. No call. Four-point lead, 52-48. Davalos, cross court to go to Godbolt. Godbolt up on top to Gonzalez. In it goes to Godbolt. Curly had a look. Davalos again. Another three-pointer, Davalos. And it's going to be, the clock is running with 1.30 left. Now timeout. Oh, my goodness. One point game, 52-51 as Domlos sets her sights on the three-point shot and makes two in a row. She duplicates the earlier feat from her teammate, Jalen Curley. And both of those three-point shots, or all four of those, give the... Lady Huskies, what they needed, 12 points that they would not have had without the three-point shots. So big time here. Timeout taken by Cypress as the Lady Huskies will be applying the full court pressure, trailing by one with one minute and 29 seconds left in the game. It is do or die. Down to the nitty-gritty. Winner will advance to the next round. And... The defeated opponent will call it a season. Again, the 3C 2A Southern California Regional Tournament right now in front of us, the women's division. Coming up next will be the men. Full court pressure, Fu Fuzumatu. She's in the front court, Davalos guarding her. It's going to shot clock in play with 20 seconds left. They will have to take a shot. Blanco guarded by Poole. Stops a dribble up on top to Avila MacArthur over to Fu Matu. Dribble drive down the middle. She goes, puts it up. No good. A shot, rebound. Fu Matu got it. New shot clock starts. Oh, they will rule the shot clock violation. 
because the ball did not hit the rim. Good pickup by the officials. 59.3 seconds left in the game. It looks like Coach Turner has decided for strategic purposes to call a timeout. Uh, let's review here the play in the fourth quarter. We're going to stay here on site in the court here looking at both teams. But the big, big push here have come by uh, Jalen Curley with two three-pointers and then followed by Sitlali Davalos with two three-pointers. That gave it gave them 12 points that they needed. And then coming up, Adriana Gonzalez with four and uh, Jada Swanson with three. And that has narrowed the gap just to one point, 52 to 51. And that's been the difference here, making a big run. Hopefully not uh, too late in the game for it to happen, but we're looking inside of a minute. 59.3 seconds left to go. And the ball will be out of bounds for the Lady Huskies. Comes after a shot clock violation. It will be given to them in front of the Lady Chargers bench. And let's see what strategy Coach Turner has drawn up, whether he wants to go for a regular field goal on a given play or might it be a perimeter two-pointer or a three-pointer. And one of the East L.A. Lady Huskies will be certainly asked to come up with that big play. Okay, Davalos trying to protect the ball. She stops, gets it inside to Godbolt. Godbolt on the dribble, stops, puts it up, misses. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Chargers. That was Krista Evans. So Dominique Godbolt looking to use her size and her scoring ability down low to muscle her way in for a shot. Pass comes to Godbolt, over it goes. Curly lets it go from three, it's gonna be short. Oh, stolen, oh, Gonzalez. She stole the ball after Evans got the rebound. Set things up, Curly, his three point shot was short. Ball went into the key there and Hunt, Evans, excuse me, Hunt, Evans came up with it, was awkwardly positioned, passed it to her left and Adriana Gonzalez was there for the gimme, but she got fouled pretty hard there, and now she's going to the free throw line to shoot two with 38 seconds left in the game. So plenty of time still available here for the East LA Lady Huskies. And uh, let's see what they do now. Cypress coach calling out to her players while they uh, take care of the wet spot on the floor. But a huge opportunity now coming for Adriana Gonzalez. She's going to shoot two free throws. She's looking to tie. They need one for the tie, one for the lead. And then they'll need to play some very strong defense. So Gonzalez puts it up and squishes clean. Adriana Gonzalez coming from St. Paul High School. She's a guard, 5'7". Hometown is Whittier, California. Here comes her second now. Huge. Could give the East LA College Lady Huskies a lead for 38 with 38.7 seconds left in the game. Gonzalez puts it up and it's in. The Lady Huskies have gotten to Mount Everest. But there is time on the clock. It's never over till it's over when we'll see the double zeros up on the scoreboard clock. But the Mount Everest has been climbed at this point in the game. However, there's still much time left for the Lady Chargers from Cyprus to gather themselves and look for a good shot in their possession. And let's see how it all unfolds here. They'll have to take the ball out of bounds in their backcourt. According to NC2A rules, there's no advancing the ball. That only happens in the NBA. But um, the stage is set. There's lots of drama. You couldn't ask for a better playoff game here in the second round as both teams going after each other. Most of the game, though, for three quarters and a half, it was the Lady Chargers from Cyprus up on top. But in the third, or the fourth and final quarter, the Lady Huskies 
just got down to business. They knew what they had to do. And here they are now finding themselves with a one-point lead. Again, there's a timeouts. Two left for the Huskies and one left for the visiting Cypress Lady Chargers. Point guard now will be Priscilla Blanco. You'll see number three there also getting the ball in. That's Sarah Weber over comes to Fuamatu. Shot clock now at 25. Fuamatu, number four with the ball, dribbling, guarded by Davalos. Good matchup there. She's going to try to go around a pick by Miller onto her right. And she's still stretching with the leg. Comes around her left behind the back dribble. 20 seconds left. Davalos still one-on-one -on -one with Full Matu. And now no shot. There's going to be a timeout taken with 15 seconds and 7 seconds on the shot clock. Last timeout of the game taken by the head coach from Cyprus. Okay. So we'll be back in a moment. Don't go away. Buckle up your seatbelt. This is going to go right down to the very last shot and second of the game. This is East LA Sports Team's coverage of the East LA Women's Basketball Program playoff second round. When they come next time, I'll, I'll see them here. Thank you. Okay, there's the whistle. We're set to go. Seven seconds on the shot clock. She's trying to get it in. Oh, she nearly loses it. Blanco, double team. Don't foul. That's the main thing. Three. Shot clock, no good. And they'll turn the ball over as Blanco just ran out of room. And the shot clock violation is going to go against the Cypress Lady Charger. It's going to be East LA College Lady Huskies ball in their back court. Plenty of time left, 6.9. As we say, it's never over until it's over, but that was some aggressive defense as Coach Bruce Turner called upon his players to step it up, step up your game. This is a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We need the win to move on. And ladies and gentlemen, sports fans, you couldn't have asked for a better game here in terms of the second round of playoffs. We now understand that waiting in the wings will be Pasadena and should the Lady Huskies win that game will be here and should Cyprus somehow win that game will be there in Cyprus so the Pasadena team is here and they are watching and waiting okay pull the inbound of the ball here for the Lady Huskies and there it is the Dominique Godbolt she's going to be fouled Pass went from pool over to Godbold, and it's good territory to be in for the Lady Huskies. They're in their own front court. And that's only going to be the fourth. Check that, the fifth team foul. So they, uh, they fouled Godbold. So she has not made any free throws tonight. She, she makes the first. No good. 0 for 5 for Dominique Godbold. Torres comes in now, so plenty of time, depending on where the ball may go. Godbolt's second free throw is going up. It's good. She makes it. And now here it is. Oh, ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. A second will go off the clock. Davalos in good position, looking to steal that inbound pass. Ball will be put in bounds right in front of the uh, Huskies. Stand right there of the Husky scoring table. Weber in with the ball now. Let's see if they're going to have to get in a player. And coming in is Atencio. Now check that. Number 34 is coming in. Allison Nelson. 5.5 seconds. 54-52. There it is. Oh, there's going to be a foul immediately. Good foul there by Godbolt. That's only the second team foul. 4.8 seconds left. Good strategy there by Coach Turner. He's instructed his players they can give a common foul. What they'll need to avoid is a shooting foul. Ball's being 
put in play there right in front of their own bench. 4.8 seconds left. Ball is going to be stolen by Godbold. Three seconds. It's going to run out the clock. Two seconds on the inbound. And point two seconds left. And Dominique Godbold with three points in the game, but huge, huge numbers on defense. And, of course, hitting her last free throw. She's going to go to the line to shoot a couple of more. So never say never, and it's never over till it's over. So they have put 0.2 seconds that was showing on the board. They're going to cut it down to 0.6. However, all eyes are on Dominique Godbolt, number 34 on her jersey. She has worked hard all evening, and here comes her first free throw, shooting a pair. No good. She's going to shoot her second now. And second one is good, just like the previous two free throws. So she makes it. And here is the inbound pass, and that should do it. Intercepted. Ball thrown down court by Gonzalez, and that will do it. A three-point win. 55 to 52 in favor of the Lady Huskies. They will move on now to the third round of the playoffs. And they will be taking on Pasadena, the Lancers, the Lady Lancers, this coming week. Or maybe next weekend. We'll get that to you. But we will do our best here to bring you the interviews, post-game interviews, as the men now have taken the court. And there you can see a far side, the ladies giving the sportsmanship handshake as they close out the game with the win, 55 to 52. So we'll be back with a quick post game in just a moment. This is East LA Sports News coverage of the 3C two way Southern California Regional Playoff round number two. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, here we are now, post game. Very, very quick interview because the men's game is going to start, but the women's game had everything a basketball fan wanted tonight. And Jalen Curry, you had a big, big hand in the big win. Talk about tonight's win. Well, I'm uh, very proud of my team tonight. It was a team effort, and there were some parts of the game where we were slow and not really coming together, but we came together toward the end where it really counted and our shots were going in and um, we picked up our defense full court and so I think that that was the key to tonight's well, win. It came at the right time because as the time was running down, you know, the enemy was the clock and you and your teammate Davalos hit those two three-pointers each and that was 12 points right there which brought you back into the game. Talk about the rhythm there that you both had that you made your shots. Those were very key shots. Uh, well, first it uh, started off with defense, of course, and as we started pushing and we started getting them out of their defense, and then these open shots started happening. But when the game slowed down, they were sticking on us, um, like us three shooters. So, but once we started pushing, and then they started making mistakes on their end, and then that opened up the lane for our post, and then kick out back out to for the threes. And one other thing I can't overlook was the team defense. You guys were gritty. You, had, you knew what you had to do, you had the assignments, and the strategies from Coach Turner really kicked in. Yes, and um, tonight's win was obviously because of defense. We were kind of slow at the beginning. We had little slumps here and there throughout, but we picked it up when it counted, and that's how we came out with the win. Okay, and you had a big fan club here yourself. Was it a lot of family members that came in from Arizona to watch you? <laughs> yes, um, I had everyone, my ex extended family, um, and all along with my coaches, my former coaches, and my bus drivers from back home. So it wasn't only family, it was a whole 
um, Ganado community yeah. and that came out. And we do understand you are representing very proudly the Native American community. Can you tell us just a little bit about that? Yes, um, I'm from the Navajo Reservation and we are, basketball is very huge out there and the reason why I came out here was to, of course to further my education and all but to represent and be a role model for the younger um, Native American um, very, generation. Very powerful. Yes. Thank you for allowing us to be in here watching you perform at this level. you got another game coming up. Will that be during the week or will it be next weekend? Um, it will be next week on Saturday against uh, Pasadena, oh, I believe. It will be here then. Yes. Okay, another yes. home game. All right. Jalen Curley, we thank you very much. Thank okay, you. and good luck. Okay. All right. That will do it here. We've got a quick interview with the winning team, the East LA, Lady, East LA College Lady Huskies. And now it's going to be time to head back up and do the men's game. So. We'll be back with more of BCLA Sports Scene in just a moment. Take care. Estamos en español. Okay, here we are now. Slitlali Davalos. Le presento la gran jugadora de este partido, Slitlali Davalos. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Cuéntenos ya cómo fue con esos tiros, los últimos dos de tres puntos. ¿Cómo sentiste? Ok, eh, primero, lo, único, lo primero que sentí fue tratar de ayudar a mi equipo. Y, y terminar el juego hasta el final. Y siempre con el respaldo de él, del head coach Bruce Turner, que creía en usted, en el talento tuyo, en ofensivo y también en la defensa. Explíquenos ya tus, cómo sentía ya al fin del partido, que, que ya sabía que iban a ganar. Eh, pues primeramente lo, lo que nos concentramos es jugada tras jugada, como él nos dice, jugada tras jugada. Y, y cuando nos sentimos ganando, pues... Pues, tener la mente fría para el siguiente juego. Ok, ahora, Flitali, cuéntenos ya cómo llegaste. How did you come to East LA College? Um, I, I, I went to Legacy and Coach Araí, she recruited me. Ok, and you're now in your first year or second year? Um, that's my first year, I'm oh, a freshman. First, ok, yeah. and where, where did you play before? Were you high school? Was it here in Los Angeles? In Southgate. Oh, Southgate. Southgate. Okay. Yeah, look at it's okay. Southgate. And uh, what courses are you taking here? And uh, los cursos uh, tuyos académicos. Uh, I don't know how to say. El currículo que usted está tomando. Los las clases. En, en, en qué especialidad estás? Oh, uh, I don't know how to say. I think it's last something like that. I, I, I'm not sure. Okay. All right, um, and talk about your teammates, uh, Jalen Curley. Uh, we also have uh, Adriana Gonzalez, played a very big game too. Yeah, they're really, really good players. They have the courage to to take play by play and possession by possession. They are really good players and they're good teammates too. Okay, so you have one more week to play for Pasadena, to play, to prepare. Yeah, we are prepared. We try to prepare every, every single game. Um, Pasadena is a really good team too, but I think we are a good, good team too. Okay, Sidlali, gracias, thank you, muchas gracias por el tiempo. Davalos, her surname. Okay, we're going to try and get one more before we go. Go back up to do the rest of the men's game. East LA Sports Scene. Okay, here we are at halftime of the men's game, and it's a very unique situation of women's and men's here at East LA College. You can ask for a better environment and situation for basketball here at, at this level, Coach, but we saw your game. We're going to go right back now to the women's and review your game because what a win. Coach, you got to tell us how you felt about that. Poor second half, but a great finish. They showed their heart, their guts, their tenacity, and they played unselfishly in the fourth quarter. In the first half, we played kind of selfishly, didn't move the ball. The fourth quarter, we came together, we played husky ball. And coach, whatever you said, the words of wisdom, the spurring on of your team, because there's no tomorrow. And backs were to the wall at home. And all those things, I'm sure you told them, you got to produce. Yeah. There's a lot of big, a lot of fans here tonight, and there's a lot of pride at stake. Fans really cheered us on. Uh, they could feel the energy they got from the fans. And when Davalos hit the big three in the corner, the defense just picked up. I knew after that we'd win it. Coach, you know you always have an ace in the hole, as they say. And earlier, Curly came up with two threes. Davalos repeated that. That's 12 points that you really needed, and it came at the right time. And then your defense locked them down at the end. 
it was all defense because we shot 22% from the field, 20% from three, and 41% from the line and won the game. So it was all defense and heart. But Coach, let's talk about the E Arena, the E Dome now. It's starting to pick up more stature around the state whenever East LA College is spoken in the basketball world now. They know what's going on. People got the message. Absolutely. It's really expanded our recruiting. Guys like yourself, East LA Sports Scene, uh, sharing what we do here. We really appreciate you guys. And, you know, we people are recruiting us instead of us recruiting them now. And that's a good feeling to have, Coach, because, you know, there's more tomorrow's coming. Because next, tell us about the forecast for next week. Absolutely. We'll be at Pasadena. We'll be here. Hopefully we'll have another doubleheader as the men take care of business tonight. Okay. And so practice during this week, and then it's going to be against, is it Pasadena? Pasadena. Okay. All right, Coach, uh, you have had yourself a whirlwind tour this year, 25 and 6. It's been kind of up and down, and, of course, it's never 100%. Coach, what can the team do now to redeem themselves and come out with a, a better, better game? Uh, get off to a better start, better ball movement. A little bit more consistency in our in our uh, offense. Okay, coach, we're gonna let you relax now and get ready for Monday for the next practice, and we're gonna try to come back to see you during the week. Appreciate it. Thanks, for head coach up. Bruce Turner. Congratulations on a huge win. Thanks, Rico. Thank Appreciate you. it. Okay, okay. East LA Sports Scene.